all started when that bunny hunter took best in show. He was 17 months, a China girl's better me brother. He took best in show up in Oregon. So on my way back to uh, California, I go, man, I need to breed the sister. And the more I thought about it, I decided to bring her back to her father, Chinaman. I sent China girl to Tom Garner. He stuck it to China and sent it back to me. And those pups were born. There's only two males out of that litter. <coughs> and uh, about four females, I believe. And uh, one male was black and one was uh, buckskin. <coughs> so uh, Ruff Greenwood, my buddy, called me up. He knew about that little pups. He goes, if you want to, I'll give you a, put an ad on the Gazette for free. So he gave me a whole page for free. But uh, as soon as that Gazette come out, within two days, I had to change my phone number. My phone was ringing day and night. So I, if, if I had 100 pups, I could have sold 200. So I only sold uh, three out of that litter. I keep the rest. Terry Lejeune came from... Uh, Louisiana and bought Chinatown and I keep Frisco he won the black one so I had to keep Frisco uh, Curtis Mayfield came and bought two females when they were about six months uh, a bitch got up the chain and killed those two pups uh, or Curtis uh, Terry he schooled the dog out and uh, he, he won two matches with him on the second match he went to a grand champion and Chinatown had two broken legs. And people were bet a thousand to a hundred that he won't be able to complete a scratch. When Terry let him go, he went on, he he pushed himself forward with his chest and his back leg and then under he grabbed the dog belly and killed him. And he won his match. He was only bred one time and he produced grand champion rats. Uh, people comes out, it's got a lot of those dogs around. Anyway, Jim Freitas came over to my house when those pups were about eight weeks, nine weeks, and he wanted to raise one of those pups. I, I told him, go ahead and take this mail, and uh, if he turned out, we go half and a half. When the mail was about a year old, he took him up in Oregon to ADBA show, and uh, he, uh, he tried to sell the dog. Well, Lenny Miller... And Kelly Fee called me up about the dog. I just told them, just make sure nobody will buy him. So Tuesday morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, I went over to Freda's house. I picked up the dog, Frisco, and I took it home. I believe I left $100, $200, I don't remember, on his porch in an envelope. And uh, I raised the dog up. I sent him back to Oregon to Kelly Fee's house. We got together over there, and we rolled him. Uh, Kelly held a bumper once with Terry, and they called me up. They told me the dog beat as hard as Chinaman did. I didn't believe him. You know how the story goes. I thought it was bullshit. <laughs> so I went up to Oregon a few months later, and we all got together. There was a guy named Vince from Canada that was there. Kelly Fee was there, a bunch of us. So I want to roll Frisco, and we would roll a bunch of dogs. And they go, oh, no, no, that dog bites too hard. We don't want nothing to do with him. And then there was a guy, I forget his name now, he's the guy that lost into China Boy, uh, really, really crumb China Boy later, he sold it to Gary Hammonds. The dog went an hour and 25, I believe, and was pick up the game. So he said, I'd like to put that dog in Frisco, I still have him, let's find bring him. Well, Frisco killed him in seven minutes inside the pit. So I took the dog home, and I Next step, I want to roll in some more. I need to see some time on him. I took him in Nevada in Winnemucca, Winnemucca, Nevada. A guy named Hint, Jim Hint, he had about 50 dogs. He brought a big, huge 52-pound dog. I believe he was the son of Jeep. And uh, he went through him like maybe six, seven minutes. The dog was completely out. He picked him up and dragged him out of the pit. So I had Liver Red with me on that time. It belonged to Tom Garner. He was sold to uh, to go to China. So I wanted to see Frisco time, so I put Liver Red in here. In 22 minutes, Liver Red was in his way out. His tongue was blue, and his eyes were all red. So Lenny Miller, my, my corner man, my vet, my personal vet, he goes, if you don't pick him up now, I won't be able to save him. 
I sure did. I, we broke him up. And he, uh, great Tavares, he's the one that handled Liberate. And uh, I believe, uh, I believe, uh, uh, I don't remember. I think Mike, I don't remember. He handled Fresco. Well, I did, I don't remember. But anyway, he was able to save Liberate. Uh, he was a good vet. Then I opened him up for match. And while he was open for match, Tom Garner gave me a call. He said, Chinaman's dead. So I sent, I decided to send Frisco to my friend Tom Garner. And uh, thanks to Tom Garner, he made him a big ROM. Hmm. And the rest is history. That's all I could tell you guys. If you guys believe it, fine. If you guys don't believe me, go. you're always going to be there. Believe always somebody that tells stories, bullshit. If you're a true gentleman, true dog man, you should believe a dog man. Not somebody that don't even own dogs or anything like that. The, the story that Chain Soul wrote, it's a bunch of bullshit. It was over by the peak because uh, Bob Fritz, I uh, talked to Bob Fritz to help uh, Chain Soul to sell some peak. So they were making that peak. Chain Soul abused Bob, never gave him any money for two years. And... Uh, Bob got tired of the company waiting for him, and he sold it to Tom Garner. That's how Tom Garner started his peak condition, or whatever he's calling it, his, his RF1. So, uh, uh, Chainsaw to get back on on Bob, he wrote that Frisco quit. Hmm. He, and then one day I went to his yard, and I see China Doll, one of Frisco little mate. Uh, that I had it, I gave it to a guy named Don Brod in Georgia. He bred it to shark, she bred it to tater. And uh, I had a female out of that. Somebody stole it from me. And her brother, he, he met a champion. Her brother, I believe, was named Shark uh, Fish, a uh, Shark Fish, something like that. And uh, so I, when I see the bitch in the yard of uh, Chains, I go, hey, I, I remember this bitch. Got, I don't tell nobody, I don't tell nobody. That fucking damn brat, he screwed my buddy Vinny Gunn, so me and him went over there. We got all those dogs loose, and we stole this bitch and another dog.